Alex, I hate to be standing here again talking to you about this. Um, just talk me through the move, your thinking through it. I know right now you must be absolutely gutted. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a bit fresh right now, so I've got to be careful what I say. But um, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. I, I really felt like we could have won that race. Of course, I think Mercedes had the outright pace today, but the guys did a great job with strategy. And honestly, when I did the pit stop, I thought, uh, where are we on track? I don't really know what was going on. And as soon as it all played out, it looked really strong for us, and I knew basically that they were on the hard tyres and the first five laps was when I was going to do the overtakes. I was confident, the car was feeling good at that stage of the race and um, yeah, uh, just, just what it is. I feel like this one, I wouldn't say it hurts more but uh, I felt like Brazil was a bit more 50-50. This one felt, I, I felt like I did the move already and I was kind of already focused on Bottas in front and it was so late the contact. And, yeah. So if you're, you're calling 50-50, do you think it was the, the keenness to get past Lewis? I think Lewis? Brazil was 50-50. Sorry. Brazil was 50-50. Brazil was 50-50. So what do you think about this one then? Uh, for me it was more, I don't know, I, I think there's always a risk of overtaking on the outside, uh, but I gave it as much space as I really could. I mean, I was right on the edge and I knew as long as I give him all the space I can give him, that's, it's up to him if he wants to crash or not. Um, and uh, yeah, that was Will you speak to him? I know he's in the pen here now, but will you speak to him no, separately, I'll, privately? I'll call off and I'll come back. <laughs> what, sorry? I'll call off and I'll come back. Okay. All right. Thanks, Alex. Thank I'm lucky today. Thank Certainly a frenetic race to come back to Formula One with. Um, just talk me through how you're feeling right now about everything that went on. We know we heard the team saying you've both got to look after your cars. Valtteris was in a worse state at that point. You then had the contact with Alex and a penalty that's taken you off the podium. Yeah, I, I don't really feel particularly any way right now. I think it just the race is done and I just feel like moving forwards. Uh, of course, it's not been a great weekend for me and I think that, uh, you know, yesterday was entirely my my fault. It was a bit odd for sure today in the preparation to all of a sudden get a penalty, but that's, it is what it is and um, that didn't destabilize me. It just encouraged me to just go out there and try and drive as best I could. And I feel like I did. Uh, Ozzy had great pace to catch up with Valtteri and then a really unfortunate scenario with Alex. I mean, I can't believe we've come together again, uh, but it really felt like a racing incident. But either way, uh, I'll take whatever penalty it, they feel I deserve and move, forward, move forwards. When you um, consider today and the team telling you guys so much to, to look after the cars, does that bring you concerns for next weekend? Do you think it's something you can resolve by next weekend? Is it the curves here that it, some of them are just so hard that these vibrations they put through it I mean that next weekend you're going to have to be, play it really safe? I think everyone is. Uh, I really don't know what all the problems are. Obviously they tell us to stay off the curves, but um, I don't believe it's suspension, for example, which is usually from the curves. I think it's something else. And so I don't know whether they're going to be able to fix it in, such, in three days or four days, but I wouldn't put it past my team to, you know, there's such... Um, intelligent and hard-working people I'm sure they'll be already working right now for a solution whether or not we can bring it to the next one I uh